Hello Aries and welcome to your mid-January to mid-February 2023. Happy New Year to you all. Uh, Mid-month reading. Aries, this is a general reading. It won't resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs and other placements in your chart to see if there's more guidance and clarity and information in there for you. All right. Normally, I have the cards dealt out, and I am doing it now. So give me just a minute. All right. see there all right for the high priestess we have the ten of uh, wands and then we have the page of wands very interesting wow hmm all righty a lot of fives how interesting fives and tens Okay, let's just see what we have. These are these cards are going to be what is going on kind of right now for you. And then we'll do take a look at health, career, finance, and love. So we have the high priestess, we have the ten of wands, and we have the page of wands. I just see as the high priestess is really trusting your instincts and this card came out first and I usually put it in the middle and I don't know why I moved it over to the side so I almost feel like it's supposed to kind of go this way um, and in going this way this just shows that you've been through a lot you've carried a lot of burdens you are um, you could be carrying other people's burdens that you don't even realize you're carrying. Aries, you have to really think about what's yours to carry and what's yours not to carry. What you can fix and what you can't fix. What you need to try to um, focus your energy on and what you need to to hold your energy for yourself. You know what I mean? To try to keep your energy uh, from depleting because if you give it a away, then there's nothing left for you. Kind of that that kind of energy. And this is trusting your knowledge, trusting your instincts, trusting your gut, basically, to know, to know. Only you know you, right? You know you better than anybody else. You know you better than your family, your your parents, your spouse, or, you know, significant other, or whatever. You know you better than anybody. So this is just talking about uh, kind of knowing when enough's enough and knowing when you don't need to carry other people's burdens or try to fix somebody else or try to always not not to say you shouldn't help people or you shouldn't be there for people but um, you can't always be there and always fix things for everybody you know I just think it's wearing you down and it's really thinning your um, uh, your energy I just feel your energy is just like uh, an air going out of a um, a, uh, a float or something for the pool you know something's draining it and you have to know when enough is enough and that's the inner knowing of the high priestess it's also going within and really trusting yourself over matters other than others you know aside from others and if you look at this you know this this bird is carrying this burden and it also is it's weighing it down because it could fly a lot higher if it didn't have all these burdens and that's kind of what I'm thinking with with the ten and then the two the high priestess is talking about you know burdens that are weighing you down when you can release what you don't need to carry anymore you can fly higher you can do more you're gonna have more energy you're gonna feel a whole lot better and I feel like this bird's about ready to drop them you know maybe in a forest or someplace that's you know recyclable or whatever but I feel like this bird's ready to drop them he's carrying them but he's not they're not on his back so you know he has the choice you have the choice and I think that's what the high priestess is telling you you have the choice it's your decision you you have to trust your instincts to know what is the best for you and when you do that there's knowledge there's learning there's growth and the page of wands is that new knowledge that new understanding that new growth and it's like you want to um 
shout it from the rooftops kind of you know you want to tell everybody you have this new beginning and this new new start and it could be the new energy coming in because you're going to go from 10 to 1 and it's like all I've, I've been carrying nine of somebody else's or nine of some things or nine of burdens that aren't mine this is mine this is what I have to carry look how much lighter that is I can fly I can fly higher I can go do all the things right because you have lessened your burden and you listen to your instincts you listen to your instincts it's it's like um you know it's not heart and mind it's not heart and brain it's it's your gut instincts it's your knowingness it's not listening to one over the other it's listening to yourself listening to you and knowing Again, you know you better than anybody. And when you make that decision and you let go of what is really weighing you down. Or it could be even coming to terms with something that's weighing you down. Coming to a realization. And when you come to that aha moment. Because you trust your instincts. Because you trusted your gut feelings. You'll have this knowing and this this new knowledge in in your being and in and you're going to want to tell everybody about it you're going to feel so much better i just feel you're going to feel so much better whatever the situation is when you can release whatever's not yours to carry you're going to feel so much better about yourself physically mentally spiritually all of the above okay so for your house we have the two of pentacles. This is really bringing something into balance. It could be where you've been working a lot and you're not, you've not been taking care of your health. You know, bringing that in balance, bringing in balance, uh, maybe nutrition and exercise, bringing in balance. Maybe you, you exercise so much and you don't eat right, or maybe you eat right and you don't exercise. Kind of bringing everything into balance, um, paying attention to it, seeing the potential in something. Um, I feel a lot of movement with this card, even though it's it's a growth card with the pentacles. I just feel the movement because I guess the swirling of the birds and this, you know, um, the 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 energy that is here also. Um, but it's it's having your hand on both, but bringing in a balance again. It could be spirituality in in you know your physical body. Uh, could be mentally and spiritually, but bringing things in balance, definitely. Your um, wealth, your money, is the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is a card of bullying. It's a card of, you know, kind of somebody making you or forcing you to do something you don't want to do. It could be somebody trying to get you into a get-rich-quick scheme or give me your money and I'll make money for you or let me show you how to do this or, you know, but it's usually not... Um, Whoever's doing it is usually out for themselves. So kind of be careful of your money. Watch your money. Watch schemes. You know, the holiday time, I know we're out of it, but it's still a time for scheming. People can scheme and scam. Um, so five is also a number of change. So it could be changing the way you handle money, changing the way you invest money, changing where you put your money, something like that. Uh, be careful because it can be um, an all or nothing card also. Like a um, somebody can give you an ultimatum, you know, um, if your partner is kind of high maintenance and they might want the biggest diamond ring and you can't afford it. And if you don't get it for me, I'm leaving you that kind of thing. Um, hopefully you know better and hopefully, um, they will go packing and you won't be out a bunch of money and, uh, probably a partner too in the long run. So just be careful of bullying or somebody trying to get you to do something that you don't want to do or, um, you know, trying to manipulate you into your finances because it is, um, uh, it is your wealth. Your work environment is the Ten of Swords. This is a card of being finished with something. So you could be ready to leave the job you're at. Um, it can also be where, you know, I, I feel like this card is like gossip and drama and all that. It's like you're, uh, sort of, you're done. You're done whatever. You're done the talk. You're done the gossip. You're done, you know, um, 
all that petty stuff. And it, I feel like if it's a work environment, you're there to work and, you know, just let me do my job and let me go home, that kind of energy and not, not want to be caught up in all the, the drama and the pettiness that can go along with jobs. Um, it could also be where you're done your job. You're looking for a new job. You could be ready to quit or ready to resign or ready to move on, or you could be ready to move on from your district or ready to move on from your area. doesn't necessarily mean quit, quit of a job, but whatever it is, you could be coming out of a really hard project where you're, you're done finally, like you finished it and you're ready to move on. You're, you're ready to move on to something new, but it was really a trying hard stressful time for you and that could be it also in your love life you have the five of wands five of wands is a card of discord it's a card of chaos and conflict and it can be um, people trying to start something um, it can also be a card of learning like you could be out dating a lot just just for practice you know kind of getting your dating scene on seeing a bunch of different people that's a possibility too um, kind of like I always see these like knights um, how the knights used to sword fight each other you know um, or boxers box each other or whatever, you know, practice, getting that practice in. But it can be five. Again, you have that number of change. It could be a, a card of chaos or discord. If you're in a relationship, there could be a lot of fighting. There could be a lot of disagreements. There could be a lot of arguments. There could be a lot of um, not seeing somebody somebody's way or somebody trying to make you see things their way and you don't see it or, you know, you don't care to see it or however that is. And if you're um, not in a relationship, it could be where maybe you, right now you just find dating too difficult or, or again, you're, you're dating just for the experience. You're just, you know, you're not looking for love, so to speak. You're just dating to date or dating for the experience. So that's a possibility. Wands are fa passion and desire. They're your card, Aries, you know, they're the fire sign. Um, so this can be short lived. Things could burn out if you go too quick in a relationship, it can burn out, you know, it could be where you're just attracted to somebody for, um, the attraction level. And then that burns away, you know, cause maybe you go too fast, too quick at it and it burns away. Um, but again, you have five, you have 10 and, uh, there's a 10. So that it's very prominent, you know, five and five is 10. So, um, again, change and completion, end of cycles, beginning of a next, cause you have two here, right here. Um, the swords are your knowledge, your thoughts, communication, and the, the wands again are you, your passion, desire, your growth, your knowledge, you know, learning from it. Bottom of the deck energy, which is our subconscious, what we don't see, but we know kind of, you know, is justice. And this is a card of Libra. It's also a card of fairness, honesty, uh, balance, integrity. If you're in a legal anything, um, it will go in your favor. You might not think that. It could be something that's coming up in the future that you might not want to be thinking about because that's why it's, you know, subconscious energy. Uh, you could be not dealing with it right now, possibly. But it is, um, it brings balance and it brings clarity to you, whatever the situation is. There's knowledge to be learned here. And there's also a, um, a sense of peace, I feel, um, and victory in a sense of um, being right, maybe about something. And Aries, you know, you all are usually right about things, but this is uh, maybe a confirmation of something also. All right, let us see what our energy is doing. Let's see what energy is decreasing for Aries for mid-January to mid-February. What energy is decreasing? Whoa, we have two, and I will take them both. We have the Wizard of Awareness, and we have Coming to Life. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. That's what I feel with both of these cards kind of go along with all these cards here, what I had said earlier, because the burdens you're carrying, when you can let those go and you trust your instincts on them and you're going to be free, right? The wizard of awareness is that knowing. The wizard of awareness is that the high priestess energy. It is the inner knowing. It is 
um, lessons you've learned in life. It's a card of growth, a number of growth. And knowing that when you realize that this isn't yours to carry and, and you can let go of this or you can give this back to somebody that needs to carry it and you have that growth and you have that expansion, right? That's when you're going to feel like you're coming alive. That's when you're going to feel like you're breaking free of something that's kept you stuck. See how that's like the um, a mold or, or a statue. And there's that butterfly, that beautiful transformational energy. And you have that light coming out of you. And that's just like the sun right there, you know. And that bird is like, uh, that's the only thing I have to carry. And you're like, I've got this, you know. I'm breaking free. I'm coming into my own and I will, um, it's, it's like you're going to be free and it's like you're going to do the, do things that you want to do when you want to do them. Um, and not have to, uh, not have to be held back. You know, that's the energy that is decreasing is that energy of being stuck that energy of the burdens is decreasing that coming to life energy is growing i love the lights i love that light and the energy that is increasing for you is spark <laughs> oh that's great because of the spark that this coming to life card is carrying the spark which is you you're the fire sign. I feel like when you let go of the heaviness and you come into your own, you're coming into life, you're coming, um, breaking free of that stagnant energy that it's going to ignite your passion, ignite your desires, you know, things that maybe you used to take pleasure in, maybe, uh, music or art or, um, you know, hiking or whatever it was that you really felt a one connection with, I think that's going to spark your interest again. And I think if you hadn't gone through what you went through, it wouldn't be there. I don't think it would be there. I think it would be, you'd still be carrying that burden, you know, listening to your instincts. All right, we're going to pull one more card for you for this beautiful reading really you have to let me know Aries how it resonates with you I'd love to hear from you Rhino spirit overcome any obstacle what a beautiful uh, she looks very feminine but that's okay um, that's a beautiful card overcoming any obstacles we're going to read out of the book real quick on her or him could be him um we always have the choice to press ahead, and Rhino Spirit Strength offers you the power to break through stubborn obstacles. Right there, right? This spirit animal knows there is more than one way to open a path to what you seek. When Rhino Spirit appears, you are reminded that you have a marvelous ability to overcome obstacles in multiple ways. By going around them, shattering them with force of clear, deliberate intentions, or even transforming them into clouds that drift away by refusing to allow them to limit you. You know, rising above it, rising above it, right? Apply your rhino spirit with creativity and no obstacles can stand, for you have magic to make and many ways in which you can make it. Your power is awesome right now. Rhino spirit also wants to remind you that when an obstacle appears to prevent you from getting what you desire today, it means that something much better is coming. Keep that in mind when you consider the nature of an obstacle in front of you now. Great spirit loves you so much and it only wants the best for you. How beautiful. How beautiful. Aries, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Stay safe and healthy. Uh, now I put out readings the first of the month for love, for um, committed and single relationships. So if you're interested in that, uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I would love to have you on board. I uh, thank you for watching. I don't even think I introduced myself. If you're new here, my name's Rudy. Welcome to my channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. If you made it this long, now you know who I am. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy. Aries, be blessed until... 
next month. Bye for now.